All right, guys, GoodBoy32 here, check it out. I'm sitting in the uh, Freedom office, and uh, we're looking up some news today. And I, I will tell you what, with great anticipation, we are all sitting around waiting to see what the White House is going to do in their initiative towards uh, gun control. Now, this is a scary event for you. It's a scary event for me because we've got a president who's in office that is really unpredictable. I mean, would you agree that he's very unpredictable? Uh, hell, he, the guy might not do anything. Then again, uh, he might include every damn piece of legislation that was uh, described as uh, what the, the Democrats want. Well, anyway, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for us to have a little chat here because, uh, first of all, I love the ability to have a firearm like this. Not only just for, and these guys don't, they don't understand. It's, it's for a lot of us, it's for fun. Some of us, it's for competition. For some of us, it's for home protection. Now, we or you or me, we're all pretty much law abiding citizens. I, I think pretty much anybody who's listening to this thing is probably not in the, the mindset that they want to go out and do something evil. But unfortunately, in our world we live in, there are all kinds of people who want to enact evil deeds. And unfortunately, for us, the individual who uh, abides by the law, uh, our enjoyment of this type of item or a 30-round magazine or even a 20-round magazine is impacted by somebody else's doings. Now, we've all heard about these things like, uh, you know, let's cut out drunk driving by taking all the cars off the road. Uh, yeah. Or, you know, let's uh, eliminate rape by cutting off everybody's, you know, what? That, that's, the, that's the mindset. But they don't get it. OK, so what they think of is that what you should have and what you shouldn't have. So just real quickly, what I want to do, because we're getting into this thing, I want to go over. So these, these are the three items that uh, I think are probably going to pass. But again, like I said, I, I, I seriously believe that this president is so unpredictable. But uh, number one, the NICS, uh, in a NICS enhanced NICS, the notification if somebody tries to go and buy a firearm and they fail it, well, they're going to get a visit from a law enforcement officer. Uh, also, I think that what they're going to do is they're going to initiate some type of red flag law uh, nationally, federally, so that uh, all somebody's got to do is uh, say something, see something, whatever, and uh, next thing you know, a judge is issuing a warrant. They're coming in to collect all your guns. And there you go. They just had one recently where somebody had 22 guns and a couple thousand rounds of ammo. They came in and collected their stuff. Guy didn't know anything about it. Also, I think uh, one of these things, and I really don't care about this one, I think that most of the people who go into doing these shootings are going in it to the mindset that this is the last thing they're ever going to do before they get killed. But quick execution, basically, if you're convicted of, so it said, mass shooting. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how the Democrats respond to something like this because, you know, they're against capital punishment. But as it relates to mass shootings, I think it's what now anybody, anything over three people or two people. So if somebody goes out and they kill two people, guess what? They're straight line to the execution chamber, which I'm all about. I, I matter of fact, screw that. I, I think that at the minute you, uh, you get put in handcuffs and they pry a gun from your cold hands, uh, they should go ahead and just do the execution right then and there. I know. Anyway, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that one, but here's the thing. That's just three items that I'm aware of that the White House is searching out right now. Uh, but the Dems, this is what the Democrats want. Uh, they want a magazine ban. They want, a mag they want to ban magazines like this because they think that this, if banning a 30-round magazine is going to save lives. And it's, it's all pick and choose, man. It's, it's whatever they can put. They're going to throw it against a wall. If it sounds good, let's do it. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be logical. It just needs to sound good. Firearms ban. They want to ban firearms. They want to ban firearms like this. Uh, AR-15s, AK-47s, anything that's semi-automatic. <coughs> they don't necessarily want just AR-15s, but they want anything that is, I guess, regulated or designated by legislation, according to their definition, a what they call assault weapon. I call this a home protection gun, rifle, whatever you want to call it. This is for home protection. 
This is for fun. We take these things out and have fun for it. But the main goal is it's home protection, not an assault rifle. I don't think like that. But they think that anybody who has one of these is the, a potential mass murderer. Uh, so we got the magazine ban, firearms ban. They've got that Disarm Hate Act. So anybody who uh, has been convicted or of a misdemeanor hate crime, which could be as little as anything as is calling somebody a name, uh, you lose your right on a firearm. Uh, of course, the red flag. Uh, now they're wanting with this Cory Booker thing, gun registration, a gun licensing, a gun buyback, universal background checks. Yeah, they're, I mean, why don't they just come on out? And I'm pretty sure, I mean, even, uh, what's that knucklehead out there in Texas, uh, a dork? Uh, he's actually come out and said, we're going to, uh, we're taking your AR-15s. Of course, everybody's seen that and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. I really don't care about that guy. He will never see the day a light in an, an Oval Office. So we don't have to worry about that. But what we do have to worry about is other individuals who are uh, thinking that a gun buyback is a great idea. And that will start some stuff in this country that you have never seen before in your life. And I would hate to have to put my kids through something like that. But in any case, that's it, man. I think it uh, will probably end up seeing some kind of Nick's Notification Act where, where if you try to get a gun and you shouldn't have one. Universal background checks where, you know, no private sales. I, that might be on the table too. I'm not sure. I don't think we'll ever see a magazine ban, a firearm ban. Uh, that Disarm Hate Act, the red flag is one of those things. Gun registration, gun licensing, gun buy buybacks. But uh, our gatekeeper is Mitch McConnell. As much as you hate the guy, he is the one who will uh, set forth what Senate will be sitting down and voting on. And then I want everybody, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat, but if you like your firearms, you need to contact your local legislator and let them know exactly how you feel and how they should vote on these laws if it's put on the Senate floor. And then we get to see what the president will do. So anyway, guys, that's it. Really calm, cool, and collected today. I'm trying to use my radio voice. Got a new microphone. Let's go to Boy 32. Always in it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, like, not other than neat jazz, and we will talk at you guys later. I am out of here. Y'all be good.